uh, in this video I will talk about the derivation of demand function in case of constraint elasticity of substitution utility function uh, such utility function um, takes from like this uh, we have two commodities x1 and x2 and the utility function can be uh, written as uh, x1 uh, raised to the power rho x2 raised to the power rho uh, whole power 1 over rho where this this Greek letter R S O rho so its value is restricted to less than 1 and it cannot be 0 so we'll shortly <laughs> look why the value of rho should be less than 1 so first of all let us now have a look at the graph of this uh, utility function when the level set of this function or the indifference curves are plotted in the graph. I have plotted here by fixing the utility at 10 and the value of rho is uh, 1 over 2 0 0.5 which is less than 1 so it produces a nice safe indifference curve and if I increase the level of utility it will just shift upwards it is nicely behaved mm. now let us suppose that uh, I I keep the value of rho and 1 and it converts into a straight line linear utility function so if I raise the value of rho to more than 1 so now the nicely shaped indifference curves no longer appear here uh, it becomes it becomes a concave indifference curve in the positive quadrant. So, uh, if I further raise the value of rho to three, uh, so this this becomes like this. So, the main problem for the value of rho to be when it takes a value of more than one is that uh, the the tendency point will no longer be a uh, optimal solution so in this case the tendency point will not be a, a utility maximizing combination for the consumer so it will have a corner point that will provide higher utility in this case so that is why the value of rho should be smaller than one so assuming that the value of rho is less than one and it is different from zero uh, now let us derive the demand function uh, first let us calculate the marginal rate of substitution marginal rate of substitution marginal rate of substitution is uh, simply the marginal utility of first commodity over the marginal utility of second commodity so this is 1 over rho x1 to the power rho plus x2 to the power rho 1 over rho minus 1 times rho x1 to the power rho minus 1 
so in fact we use the chain rule of differentiation here first we we assume the whole expression to be x and we use power rule that is that is n x raised to power n so its a derivative is n x to the power n minus 1 then we differentiate this with respect to x1 and uh, this is again n x1 and minus 1 that is rho x1 rho minus 1 and it's a derivative is 0 so similarly uh, in the denominator this becomes 1 over n x1 raised to the power rho plus x2 raised to the power rho to the power 1 over rho minus 1 times rho x2 rho minus 1 so these two expression gets cancelled rho gets cancelled and the marginal rate of substitution uh, becomes equal to x1 to the power rho minus 1 divided by x2 to the power rho minus 1 so we can also express this as x2 over x1 to the power 1 minus rho now we equate the marginal rate of substitution uh, to the price ratio in order to derive the demand function so this is x2 over x1 to the power 1 minus rho equals p1 over p2 and this gives x2 equals p1 over p2 the power 1 upon 1 minus rho times x1 so this is the optimal relationship between x2 and x1 and now using the budget constraint p1 x1 plus p2 x2 is equals to total income or total wealth uh, we have p1 x1 plus p2 times p1 over p2 to the power 1 upon 1 minus rho times x1 equals wealth so this is this is x1 x1 times p1 plus p2 times p1 over p2 to the power 1 upon 1 minus rho equals w so now uh, x1 is simply x1 is simply w over uh, p1 plus p2 times p1 over p2 to the power 1 over 1 minus rho so this is the Marshall and demand function for the first commodity now we can derive the demand function for the second commodity as so we substitute the value of x1 here so this becomes x2 equals to p1 over p2 times sorry raised to the power 1 upon 1 minus rho times w over p1 plus p2 times p1 
P1 over P2 raised to the power 1 minus rho. So this is x2 equals W over P1 times. So this becomes P1 times. So we now take this to the denominator and this becomes this becomes p2 over p1 raised to the power 1 minus rho plus so if we take this to denominator this becomes p2 p1 over p2 times 1 upon 1 minus rho times this is p2 over p1 raised to the power 1 upon 1 minus rho so this expression gets cancelled and uh, the demand function for the second commodity is simply x2 equals w over p1 P2 over P1 times 1, sorry, to the power 1 upon 1 minus rho plus P2. So the demand function for the two commodities in this case can be summarized as below. So the demand function for the first commodity uh, which is the function of p1 p2 and w is w over p1 plus p2 times p1 over p2 to the power 1 over 1 minus rho and x2 is the function of p1 p2 and w is w over p1 p2 over p1 to the power 1 upon 1 minus rho plus p2 so these are the two marshallian demand function in case of our constraint elasticity of substitution utility function uh, thank you for watching this video and please uh, be connected to my channel to watch uh, further videos in the future